Well, good morning and welcome to the shop. So, in three coats of clear. Now, I'm not going to wet sand this or color sand this. I mean, it's got some orange peel in the in the clear, but I don't care. Basically, this was all about making sure that we can do an embedded stripe. It was all about making sure we can do embedded numbers, right? So that's white paint. It is an Oxford white, um, and I'll get into more detail about that in, in the video. But basically, just wanted to show you the finished product, and then let's talk about how we got here. Okay, so I'm gonna wet sand. Uh, basically, 400 wet dry paper. Uh, I'm using the Dura Block, the small Dura Block, because although I'm not gonna worry about the overall flatness of the vehicle, I still want to get you know the the high spots off. So I'm gonna be using a block because if you do use your fingers, you will have a tendency of creating little ruts in the paint, and we don't want that. So we're gonna use a block. I've got a round block as well for the corners the inside radiuses. I'm going to stay away from the sharp edges because again I don't want to cut through. I don't want to have to put another coat of 2k on this. So this is literally just to flatten all the flat surfaces. We're going to take out all you know any of the bumps and stuff that I can get out. Bring it down to about 400. I'm not going to use a guide coat. Like I said this is just to get the paint onto the vehicle. So I'm just going to wet sand it. Lots of water you know um, lots of sandpaper. We'll get this down to 400 we now know that we're going to be painting this area white. I've decided to put the letters up in this area. It's bigger. I, I bought three inch uh, ID numbers and I guess when I put it in here, they kind of roll and I didn't like that look. So this is the area that's going to be white. So white there, I'm going to have the white stripe on the side and uh, you know, that's plenty, right? As I said, just going to cut this uh, paint down and then we'll throw some white. I'll see you then. Okay, we're down to 400 wet, and boy, does it show everything. Um, I think this is what Barry over at Joe Daddy's Garage was telling us, you know, warning us about, you know, him taking that step first to get to this point. When you get to the 400, I mean, every little pinhole, every little thing shows up because it stands right out because it's dark, right? Because the 400 down is a light coat. Also, I mean, I've got the natural light coming in from the main door and the side of this jet ski just does this. So again, am I going to bother with that? No chance. I'm not going to burn out my patience. I mean, I only have a certain amount of patience and I'm going to need it all for the Mustang. Uh, this, like I said, this is about putting paint down. This is about all the other things we've talked about. So it's down to 400 wet. We talked about putting in a stripe along the bottom that comes up and twists up like a bit of an inverted C stripe. I'm playing with the idea of the CUDA, you know, like the uh, tiger shark kind of thing, right? Uh, again, I'll figure that out. And then of course the collar, so we're going to be painting white along here. So um, other than that, it's ready to go. So the way it sits right now, I'm going to clean it up and we'll hit that white and we'll be on to the next step. So we're all familiar with the C stripe remember on the uh, 68 uh, Mustang. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an inverted stripe. The reason is is because this body line drops so quickly here. I didn't want it to canter down, but what we can do is, is maybe create some sort of a, a C that goes this way and then we run it down the line, you know, and then point it out and then maybe kind of bring it back you know, that kind of way, you know. So what we'll do is, is we'll get an idea of what, you know, that C is gonna look like. And of course, you know, we'll make this into a nice C. We'll get uh, something printed off the printer. I can use it as a stencil. But this really kind of just lays out the design I'd like to put on the side. And then once we get that C and then we have the reducing line to a point, um, we'll be able to then pull this off. And of course, done. This is a vinyl. In fact, what it is, it's shelf lining paper. So it's a vinyl with an adhesive on it. So what I'm hoping is because it's a vinyl, right, the, the paint's not going to penetrate it. And secondly, it gives me an idea now of where I'm going to be painting white. So, you know, I'm going to obviously use some tape here that once I have this design in place, I can just use some tape for marking. And then I can hit this with white. And again, we're not trying to saturate the whole area. What we're trying to do is just spray white where exactly we're going to need it. So we're going to spray the white, and of course we're going to be spraying the white up in here where the, where the, the um, ID numbers go. And you know what, that's about it. I mean, I don't really want to do much more. I really, again, as I said, this is just about getting the paint down, getting it covered up, seeing what it looks like when we create a stripe, and seeing what the blue looks like. And then once I have this side done, it's very easy 
to then take this side and just put it upside down on the other side, the piece of paper, and then just cut it out, right? So they'll be identical at least. So that gives me the idea. Like I said, I'm going to toy with that and see what it looks like. But I guess I'll take this off now. I have the parameters as to what I want to do. I'm going to take this off, bring it inside, and we're going to hit this with the, um, the sandpaper. And let's bring this down to 400 wet. And then we're going to be ready to put some white on this thing. So it is set up. Now this is an Oxford White. Oxford White is a modern paint color. It's off of a, a late model Mustang. Um, you know, it's similar to Wimbledon. It, it, it is a creamier white. It's not a bright white. And I didn't want a bright white. Now if you take a look at a C-stripe on a regular car, that, that vinyl is not bright white, right? It, it's, it's, it's got gray in it. And it's the same thing here. Now I know I can see it in the camera. You can actually see what the white is. Me personally, it's harder to see, but I'm getting a little bit of a light issue. So let's put those C stripe, that stripe I created, that inverted stripe, let's put that on and I'll show it to you. And then let's put the ID numbers, the vessel ID numbers on the front. And uh, then we can put blue on this. And you know what? I don't know, maybe today we can get some clear on it and we can take a look at what the colors look like. So here we go. Let's put on some decals. Now, of course, the tape is just there to kind of hold it in place, but Really, that's the idea I had here, right? So we've got this embedded double C uh, and then a pin line that runs all the way down the front here. And again, remember, this is all to simply test how, you know, how good that line is going to be and, you know, what it's going to be like to try to peel this off. You know, so all, all of that is going to be done through this striping. So, you know, I think it's not bad. I mean, it is just a... It is just a decorative stripe, something that's going to be white here, and then this is all be blue, and then we'll peel this off to reveal. Um, and then we'll see, do we need to wet sand the edge between the two? I mean, that's what this is all about. So I just threw some tape here to kind of hold it. Uh, I've already used a methyl hydrate to clean the surface. You certainly don't want to be using a, an acetone or reducer because it'll take the white paint right off. So like I said, uh, just a methyl hydrate. I, was just, uh, I just cleaned it. So I'm going to attach these, I'm going to put the calls on, and then we'll get some blue paint on this. And here it is in the base. Um, I've already peeled the vinyl off of the lettering and the vinyl off of the stickers. So what you see now, this is the white that I sprayed on prior to spraying the blue. So I sprayed the white, and again this is an Oxford white, and as you can see it's not a sharp white. And I didn't want a sharp white, I, I think that would be too much of a contrast. I think this white is muted enough that it looks really good against the blue. And the blue itself I think looks fantastic. What I need to do of course, you won't know the true color until the clear is on this stuff. So once the clear is on, it'll really show itself for what it is. But I think it's a wonderful blue. So um, we've got the white ready, we've got the blue ready. Uh, all we need to do is put the clear coat on it. Um, my gun came in that allows me to go up to a 2.5 so that should be good enough for my gel coat so i'm going to be able to spray the gel coat in the next couple of days as well but let's let this sit we'll get the clear coat on it and then we'll deal with the gel coat in another another episode but um like i said i'm really happy with it as i mentioned you know there's some junk in the paint but Again, I'm in a wide open booth. I really don't care about that. It's just, it was all about the colors and making sure I like what I see before I even touch the Mustang. So let's get this in clear. So we started with this. And now we have this. I think it looks fantastic. I think that this color is beautiful. Um, unfortunately, just like over with Barry at Joe Daddy's Garage, the camera is not picking up all of the subtleties of this paint. This paint is gorgeous, especially I've got some light coming in, I'm getting that refraction. It looks beautiful. Camera makes it look a little darker than it is. It is not. It is a beautiful blue. I'm really happy with it. So number one, I have no problem painting the Mustang this color, and if it turns out like this, I'll be happy as, and, and leave it at that. Number two, obviously the white stripe using the Oxford white in embedded into the paint means now that this stripe is covered in the clear coat and therefore I know I now can do that with the Mustang which means in the Mustang I'm going to paint the side of the Mustang white 
and then of course we're going to apply the C-Stripe decal kit and then once we hit the car in base blue I can peel that decal kit back off exposing the white underneath and then we hit the whole car with a uh, clear coat. We'll probably have to go three or four coats because what we're going to need to do is we're probably going to end up having to wet sand the clear coat anyways because I know I'm going to get orange peel in there. But secondly, whenever you put paint like this, you can actually feel the ridge. And the reason you can feel a ridge is because what's going on is, is you've laid white and then now you've laid blue on top of that white. Even though you've had a sticker there, the thickness of the blue that you laid down is put a difference between the blue and the white, which means that when you put the clear on top of that, you will actually feel that ridge. So what you need to do is you're going to wet sand that line and that line will then disappear. You won't feel it anymore and then of course you have to buff it. And I'm going to have to do that with the Mustang anyways. I'm probably going to have to color sand it or wet sand it they call it uh, because of the orange peel. But we now know we are going to be able to move forward with the stripe. We now know we're going to be able to move forward with the color. Another thing, this front cover here I stripped off and I've painted it with one of the rattle cans I bought. This is an interior blue for the Mustang. So again, this is all about seeing how the colors look together. That's why we're doing this. And I think this is actually looking pretty good. Now these colors will never really be side by side, but this is going to be more of an interior color. Some of the vinyl dies I have to do the center console and to do the dash, right? So I can at least play now with those colors. I can see which ones I like best beside the paint. And again, that's why we did this. But basically, this is done. Now, the only thing left to do is let this harden up. I'll mask off the top now. And I got my gun in so I can, you know, shoot some um, gel coat on the bottom. We can put a nice white finish back on the bottom of this boat because if you remember it was a dull, a dull gray uh, hull they had on it. So we're going to have a bright white gel coat. We're going to have this fantastic um, blue up on top and uh, just need to put it together and put it on the water. So we're done with jet ski. I think we're happy with everything we've got done on it. Let's turn our attention back so the next time you see me. I should be standing back in front of a car. I'll see you then.